you able to see me? Focus on me. So, I am in Kitwe, and one of the one of the things that I came to do, among so many other things, um, here in the Copper Belt, is about uh, the Black Mountain, as you can see. This is where these people were working. At the moment, uh, there is nothing that is happening, but uh, there are police officers who are guarding, and they are in that car. There is a tent there, somewhere that side. I managed to go uh, in the community to just ask around over this and um, what is the situation now. If you remember, the issue about the Black Mountain has been that it is something that has created some kind of an income for the community around. And I wanted to come here so that I can just uh, have a, a, a feel of what is going on. Of course, some people were actually calling me. Uh, you know, asking about, um, complaining about a number of issues, but I couldn't talk about them. I wanted to come here and, um, you know, just kind of uh, collect some evidence, speak to the people right on the ground, speak to the people in the communities. And what I'm getting really is that a number of people, a number of people are complaining. They're saying, look, this is where we used to have uh, a livelihood, you know. I remember one of the guys when I was telling him to say, Emo Murila, he said, Dao, boss, Temo Turila, Emo Tusungila, Undupa Shesu, Nava Navesu, Umumuini. Meaning, it's more than, you know, just eating. It's, this is our livelihood. And a lot of them are complaining. You know, I, some of the guys I moved with there said, when this thing was working, Tuarefuala Masut, but no, but we can't, and we have no food. So, the point I'm making is that the, the closure of the Black Mountain at the moment has, has brought suffering in the, in the communities. It has brought suffering because a lot of youths, a lot of even women were surviving on that. You can see somewhere there are those, there are women in that, um, they, they are those timber makeshift. That timber makeshift, they used to cook in Shima there, uh, you know, selling food to the people who are working and all that it's income lost so clearly clearly people have been affected by the closure of the of the black mountain now when i spoke about to say what do you want i mean what um uh what is the solution to this of course they wanted to open but but on the issue of wanting to open they have got they have got some issues again there. They have got some issues. And what are those issues? They are complaining of the people that are in charge of the Black Mountain. They are saying there are some people. Basically, there are two groups. There are two groups. There is one group which are, is, uh, you know, for Chile. And then there is another group which is for, um, uh, which I, I call them the Pavuma group. Because in as much as Pavuma wants to 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 you know to distance himself from this pavuma is part of this the member of parliament here is part of this and i mean it's clear so pavuma can refuse all he wants but he is part of this so basically if you want the big top guys because here you have chile but chile is under shawi and then here we have um uh Venasemi who are also under pavuma so the big the two big guys it's shawi and and pavuma but speaking to the people here on the ground, they are actually saying, the, the uh, shall we, remember I had spoken about the accident, forget about the accident, but in the way that these people operate, I'm talking about how they operate, I'm not talking about the accident, I'm talking about the way they operate. These two groups are completely separated. The Pavuma and the Shawi, they are completely separated. And the people on the ground are actually saying that the people who are under, who are under Shawi, they seem to be more organized under Chile. They have clearly described to say what Chile does, he puts people together. He makes them a group and he gives them a track. And then that track, is start, they, they start loading on the track. When the time to get paid comes, that group goes with the receipts, presents the receipts, gets the money, and they share the money. But on the Pavuma side, they load, and whoever is in, on top there goes and collects the money, but he does not pay. At the moment as we speak, there are a number of people who are complaining that same, the Pavuma group, have not been paid. 
they have said that those who are working for Chile, some of them were even getting paid 5,000 and so on and so forth. Whilst from, from the Pavuma side, they only, they are, if you have gotten the highest is about 700 kwacha, 1,000 kwacha. And they're saying, I mean, what can you do with that? I can tell you, Pavuma, if you, if you are watching, I know you will watch. They are even saying Pavuma will not go through this time around. They, have, they, are, they were telling me, but they are Pavuma ngaka pitakuno ni shimupamba. That's what they were telling me. I'm just reporting what I found on the ground. I've got no interest whatsoever. For me, I give facts as they are. Pavuma, they are saying ngaka pitakuno ni shuari shuka. They are complaining that you have not treated them well. People are being old. But it is not fair that people work and you don't pay them. You need to pay them, pay them, pay them. I've got no whatever, you have to pay them. So I think uh, I've uh, made my case, but to the president, I want to appeal to you that President Edgar Lungu, forget about these big guys. Let's see how this thing can be opened as soon as possible so that people can have a livelihood. Because at the end of the day, these people don't belong to Shawi. These people don't belong to Pavuma. These people are Zambians and they need a life. Please open this thing for them so that they can continue working. I have to move on. Touch and go. Bye.